Welcome to another episode of Tiny Tim's Minis, the first episode of the year. I know I missed the first, but December happens, you know? Just kind of sneaks up on you. But this week we're going to be making a Star Wars diorama. Let's get it. What's up my mini makers? For those of you that do not know, I am Tim, and on this channel we take big things and we make them small. This week we're going to be making a really cool Star Wars diorama. I found this tiny X-Wing at a local hobby store of mine, and I really wanted to turn it into something cool, which I think I did. It came out really great, I love all the details, and it was really easy to make. We're going to be using some of the same techniques that we've used in previous videos. We're going to be basing, we're going to be making models out of clay, and we're also going to be doing some weathering this time. It's going to be a lot of fun. I don't want to waste any more time, but before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I put out a video every 1st and 15th of the month. So, sit back, relax, and let's get building. What we're going to be doing, we're going to have a wall of rocks right here, just so that it gives you some direction to look at. So you can spin it around, but if you spin it back this way, and you're facing from here, you got rocks, you can't see anything. So it kind of forces you to look right in the center where this is going. This guy is going to be grounded he crash landed he's coming in hot bew, 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 bew. oh no tatooine hello smoke fire we're gonna have like a little parachute coming out at the end maybe i haven't decided if i want to do that yet because i don't know how it's gonna look but we might have a parachute coming out so crash landed x-wing and then we're gonna have a button, these little tiny circles these little dots right here these are all going to be jawas and we're going to have jawas scavenging this x-wing I think it's be a pretty cool scene. This is going to be underneath sand. The sand's going to be all cracked and gross looking. There's going to be like walls of rocks. There's going to be a big rock here. There's going to be even bigger rock here. Well, not that big. It has to fit underneath this glass. So big rocks here, wall of rocks. You got some little crates going on where the Jawas put all the junk they find. I think it's be cool. We're going to weather this up. We're going to try adding some weathering techniques. We're going to do some uh, pastels. They work great. You just have to put them on your boy. Let's say we're gonna weather the Mandalorian here and we wanna make him look rusty. We'll take some of this, put some of that on there, but it will rub off. So you do have to spray it with a, um, a uh, primer or just like a top coat. All right, here is our order of operations because we are doing some different things today. Uh, order of operations. We're gonna make the rocks, making the rocks. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make those. We're gonna make some little Jawas. Both of these, oh, oh my goodness. Those are gonna be made out of clay, by the way. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna sculpt the Jawas out of this Super Sculpey, so we can add some detail, make them look nice. We're going to make the rocks out of some tin foil and clay. And then once we get these all painted and done up with, we're gonna weather this boy, make them look nice and worn. We're gonna make some little crates and some uh, other little doohickeys that are coming out of this boy, girl, them, I don't know, it's a ship. Before I got rudely interrupted by a phone call, I was going to tell you about the video we were gonna do. I was gonna do a video on a two-part mold. Um, I was gonna show you how to, you can buy a toy and you can make a two-part mold and you can reuse that toy. But I've never done it before. The mold came out good but I think there is too many little doodads on here. So if you have anything, um, if you know anything that would help with that, uh, let me know. So that was gonna be our video, but it ended up happening, so I had to figure something out. So we're doing this. We're going to make a uh, X-Wing diorama. So let's stop talking and let's get into things. This is where the voiceover will kick in. Hey, voiceover, you ready to take over? All right, enjoy. We got our clay. We're gonna start shaping up our rock walls here. We have to make uh, just a couple big ones. Uh, we're gonna make some walls. Uh, we have to make them fit. I want to get them probably about maybe about up to here. We got we're, we don't need this yet. We got a handy dandy tin foil. All you do, take your tin foil, mold it up into the position you want. For this one, we've got like a nice little circular edge. So let's do that and see how it goes. Uh, 
Yeah, that's kind of got the look I'm looking for. I was hoping for just kind of like a little, what is that? What is it called? Oh my goodness. I can't think of it. A little hidden area. What is that word? The one, there's a little spot that's hidden in the rocks. Enclave, enclave, I don't know. Goodness gracious, I can't think of it. Anyways, we're going to go with this. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take our clay, take a little bit of your clay. I'm going to say I'm going to need about this much to begin with. Take it out, roll it out, and we're going to place it over the tinfoil. Watch, it'll roll out just like that. Awesome. So we got, it is thin. It's pretty thin. I don't know if that's going to be too thin. So, we have our rocks. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's got a nice look to that. Let's make sure it fits. That's one thing. Kind of crash on like, ooh, that's gonna look good. I think that's gonna look really cool. All right, sneak peek. And drinking some bubble water. I have a um, what is it? A soda stream. I have a soda stream, so I can add as many bubbles as I want. And I like mine looking like boiling water. It's great. Here, take a listen. Welcome to ASMR with Tim. Here's some bubbles. Okay, that's enough. So we have our rocks made. Um. Next, we're going to be making our Jawas with our Super Sculpey. And goodness gracious, this is hard. This is rough. This is just rock hard. It's so it's chilly outside. It's a little cool. Um, so it doesn't help that my house is cold because I haven't turned the heater on because it feels nice. But it makes my clay just so hard. I don't know what Jawas look like off the top of my head. I have to look some up. Once we get this all molded around, we'll do that. Um, give me like 15 minutes and we'll have it rolled out. Okay, we got it all rolled out. And I was also doing, I found I got a picture of a Jawa. And I was trying to figure out, hmm, how big do I need to make them with this boy? Jawas are about a meter tall, which is about three feet. And like, that's that small in comparison to this. Those are tiny because R2D2 stands about like on his feet. That's a that's my R2D2. Look at him. That's a bad R2D2. Let's make him a little bit thicker. That should stop there. We're just gonna. I might. Okay, no more R2D2. R2D2 stands about three foot six like on his hind legs like standing straight up but he's usually like at a slant so that's usually about i'd say that takes about six inches off so that leaves him about three foot and pictures of jawa standing next to r2d2 they're about the same height some are a little bit taller so it varies and also there's a little and here there's like a little shiny boy where r2d2 goes that's small my jawas are gonna be about that size little nuggets that also means my friend got me these glasses boom and what they are is I have these little lenses they're magnifying lenses so you just attach them on like this 
boom. You get to go, there's a little light on there too. See? So I'm gonna be able to do some details. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but we'll see. Also, thank you, Chris. So yeah, we're gonna try to get some scales going. Get that up in there. We're gonna get some scales for these boys, roll this out and try to figure out um, around the same size. Okay, uh, let's do that. So we have our rocks done. Well, not painted, but they're done. They're made. See the rocks? Mm, these came out great. I'm excited to see them painted. We have draw ones. Mm. Kevin, stay still. I know you're shy. That's good. There you go. Here's Kevin. Focus, Kevin. There you go. That's Kevin. We got those. All of our draw was. That's kind of sad. Just that pile of draw was. Well, you get the point. We got our draw was. And we got our crates. All the crates. So everything together. It's gonna look like that. Just like that. That's our finished product. Thanks for watching. No, I'm kidding. We're about to paint. We're gonna start with the rocks. We're gonna do a nice light orange. Jawas, brown and black. We're gonna do like green and yellow for the crates. Let's get it. Let's get started. Oh, welcome back to the yellow screen. So we had a little bit of issue with audio while we were painting. So we're just gonna talk about how we painted these boys. So the Jawas came out great, and they're really easy to paint. Say hello, Kevin. Hello, everybody. So all I did for the Jawas, what we did, we did a base of brown, and then we did a dry brushing of light brown. And then for the little hoods on the inside, a little bit of black. And then for the eyes, I did orange. It's pretty simple. Very easy, very easy, very easy. Next, we have our little crates. The lighting isn't the best. I cannot figure out my lighting, but here's what we did for those. So for the crates, all I did was mix this green, a little bit of black, and a little bit of brown to make a darker green, and then with that, we just put a black wash over it, and bam, crates are done. Next, we have the bane of my existence, the rocks. These, I did not, oh my goodness. I wish we had the audio for these, because I was, whoa, I got, I got heated over these rocks. We were going to first start off with a terracotta. And then I didn't like how that looked. So I thought I was going to have to remake all the rocks. And then I did a base coat of, what is it? It was a mixture of these colors here. So it was brown, peach, lighter brown, and some yellow. 
and that gave me like a nice sandstone color. And then from there, I did a black wash. And then from there, I just sponged on, or speckled, speckled, spockled, steeped, stippled. Stippled is the word I'm looking for. I steeped, I forgot the word again, my brain broke. I stippled on a mixture of the colors, so the brown, of the brown, yellow, peach, and dark brown, and came out with something that I liked, and it looks better than I thought it would. Uh, I really wanted to go for that, um, I really wanted to go for that terracotta feel, the desert rock kind of colors, the very bright orange, but I just couldn't figure out a good color combination, and I didn't think the rocks matched it as well, because there are the ridges in there, but they're not as defined as a lot of the reference photos I saw, so I just figured, it's sandstone now. So, we got that, and I think it looks great. And lastly, we have our dusty X-Wing. What we did for our X-Wing, I was going to use, I got these weathering kits. And they have sand, light sand, mud, orange rust, gunmetal, silver. And I tried using those. I might have been doing it wrong, or the surface on the X-Wing might have been not great. It might have been too... Like a shiny feeling, not mad enough for it to stick to it. I don't know what the case was, but these weren't working. So, we went back to our original plan on using pastels. We used a mixture of, just to give it like a dirty look, we used the uh, dark brown and the black. Uh, a little bit of rust, we used this color, and then the orange, we also used this color for the sand. It just kind of went over, stippled. We used, I did use a little bit of water just so it would stick better. I might have I should have probably tried using a little bit of water with these ones, but, you know. And then to keep everything on it, we just went over with a spray of clear matte. We didn't want a shiny clear coat, so we used the matte just so it would still look old, rusty, dusty, and disgusting. Today's video is brought to you by Eyeballs. Even when you think you're not being watched, you are. You are always being watched. We're about to start doing my favorite part of any diorama making, which is the base. So what you're going to need is just some sculptable and a cup to mix it in, as well as a respirator or dust mask. So what we're going to do we're going to take some of this out, put it in this cup, mix it up with water, and then we're going to put it on. I'm also going to put this in the sculpting mold just so it is ingrained before we put the sand mixture in because I want this to be completely covered, like the edges, because it does have, this does have some edges on it that I do want to hide, and that's why I flattened it out like that. So we're going to be putting this in, and we're going to be adding the sculpting mold on top of that. So before we add the sand, also, look at this. I don't know why this is, but my sculpt mold on the edges here dried brown. I don't know why it did that. It might have been something, the wood on the, uh, the bottom, this wood here, it might have soaked in some of that. That's the only thing I can think of because it's brown on the edges here too. So that's the only thing I can think of. But other than that, I have no idea. Before we do the sand, what I figured is I, because I want it looked like this is crash landed, but look at, look at, look at that. There's not enough, I feel like there's, it needs to be in the wood. Like it has to be in bedded.
right, so we got this hole carved out. And again, before we add the sand, I was, um, we're gonna paint it. We're going to paint it. I'm gonna do a sand color, mix these two colors together. Let's give it a quick paint before we add the sand. I'm not too worried about getting the sand paint on the rocks itself, just because it's gonna get sand on it anyways, so it's fine. All right, we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna add our sand. For this next step, you're gonna need a dust mask. So, this is all dry. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make our sand. Our sand is a mixture of sand and grout and sand. I already have some pre-made. So you can use dirt if you want it to be a little bit darker, but it needs to be a little bit lighter because it is sand. And if you don't like the color, you can always just paint over it with paint. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of our sand and mixture and dust is flying up. So this is why we have a dust mask. Next, we have some pantyhose. We're just gonna put it over top of this and this will keep it nice and fine while it's being sprinkled over. We take a Mod Podge, the paintbrush. Uh, this thing is always glued together. Uh, nice. Pot, mod Podge and paintbrush. And we're just going to paint over the area where we want the sand to be. And from here, we just go, we just dust it. And then when this dries, we'll get on the inside. And yeah, just let that chill. Let it dry. It might have to dry overnight. Depends on how long you let it sit. But yeah, it probably will have to dry for at least six hours before you can touch it. So, we'll see you in six hours. Today's video is brought to you by the world's most acceptable addiction. Coffee. If you stop drinking it, you might die. So it's the next morning. It dried pretty nicely. It's all there's still a little bit of dust on there, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. And there is just a little bit of still a little bit of color on there that I do I don't want. So we're gonna go over, just kind of dust it off, give it a quick dusting, and then we're gonna start adding our pieces into it. Because what we're gonna end up doing, we're gonna end up filling in this area with sand. Um, so we're gonna be sprinkling it again and then we're gonna be setting it with some watered down Mod Podge. But let's go ahead, see if we can get our stuff filled in. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're going to take some isopropyl alcohol. And this will just get all the blob, you little boys. We're just gonna drip that on. Sorry about my bad framing there. I'm just gonna put it on the edges as well, just so that we know that this sand is stabilized. We're going to take our watered down Mod Podge and we're just gonna drip it on there. You can see it's like spreading nice and evenly through. So everything is dusted, everything is dried, everything is great. Now all we have to do Let's put our draw ones in. But that'll spoil everything. And I don't want to spoil what it's going to look like by showing you where I'm putting the draw ones. So what we're going to do is.
right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also hit that bell to get a notification whenever I put videos up. They come up every 1st and 15th of the month. If there's anything you want to see in miniature, comment down below. One of your comments might inspire me to make something really cool. If you want to follow me on Instagram, do so at Tiny Tim's Minis. All my links for social medias are down below. And I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. I'll see you guys next time with another miniature. See ya.